there is a deafening sound. And dirt on your eyelids. You bring your hand to your face and wipe a thin sheet of dirt from your eyes. Sitting up, you look around to get your bearings. Still a little groggy as you get onto your feet, your eyes come into focus to see there are people all around you. As far as the horizon, they are moving in a direction and you begin to move too, but no one is speaking. The sounds of footsteps, the only thing heard, all walking in the direction of the sound. There is sweat on your skin and horror in your heart. That's increasing with every minute you realize that amongst the people walking are animals as well, domesticated and wild, proud animals, fierce animals. You would have fled from them before, but your apprehension leaves you immobile. Unconcerned with the presence of man, they walk with eyes and heads lowered. The crowd of people are compressed together, naked bodies pressed against each other, suffocating, unbearable, with no apologies or courtesy show. No one looks the other way, as if in a drunken daze, paralyzed by anxiety, it is heavy on you. It weighs on your shoulders and your back. Another group has arrived, creatures you've never seen before. Their figures in the moonlight are macabre and gruesome. Devils, hideous and unearthly, varying in size, they stand in trepidation with attitudes the same. Above them, you see a shooting star, and another, and another, and the realization is appalling. Constellations are falling. The terror seizes you again. Your hair is standing on end. Your heart would have stopped under normal circumstances long ago. The crowd is moaning, groaning, wailing, with nowhere to go and no respite to be sought. The sky and earth unfamiliar. Only the sun and the moon are the same. Casting a light over this gathering, how long have you been standing? Your bones are aching, the hunger in your stomach and the thirst in your throat would have consumed you, if not for this fear that has enveloped you and has never gone away, only increasing, only increasing. And then, in a moment, in a moment, the light of the sun and the moon are extinguished. The earth is immersed in darkness and the sky transforms above you. The feeling of helplessness is overpowering. You wish you had never woken up and then you hear an earth shattering sound. But it isn't the earth that shattered. It was the sky. It's been split and is breaking apart. Its color is changing, becoming rose like. The wailing continues. The panic is manic. At the edges of the sky, there are new creatures still. Angels. Mighty in their features, colossal in their size, beyond anything you've ever imagined. They descend as the crowd watches them. Powerful, majestic, terrible, awful. They stand in rows praising their Lord from the crowd. Breaking the silence, a question is spoken that terrifies the angels. Is our Lord amongst you? They fearfully say, exalted is our Lord. No, he is not. But he's coming. He's coming.